beautiful babes welcome or welcome back to my channel boss of budgets on this channel i do cash stuffing budgeting saving up challenges and all things money related happy week number three of february you guys so how was everyone's valentine's day i hope that you all got to enjoy the day take the day off or got to spend it with your loved one and maybe some of you guys are planning to spend valentine's day after valentine's day which is me i am going to be spending valentine's day or celebrating it next week actually with my boyfriend but I did do a cute little double date with my boyfriend one of his best friends and his best friend's new girlfriend yesterday and we had so much fun so now y'all if my voice sounds a little bit tired it's because we had so much fun and I'll, I'll get into what we did after the cash stuffing today we are going to be stuffing paycheck number three of February I'm going to be stuffing one thousand two hundred and three dollars we have one two Two, three, four, four fifty, five, five fifty, six, six fifty, seven hundred. 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80. 10. So that was 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 21, 22, and 203. Perfect. Everything is in here. So we went to go eat Korean barbecue last night. We went around... I would say like seven o'clock. The restaurant was super busy. Customer service was so so. I was like, whatever with the customer service. Um, they were kind of like on, I don't know, a different level altogether. I think the dynamic was like a group of very young servers. So I used to work in that industry as well. So I kind of know like when you're that young and you're working in like a service industry, you basically like F around. Like you do that often. Because I used to work in a Japanese restaurant and like all day every day we used to like mess around i was like not too keen about the customer service like would i go back probably not it was like super busy also and the food was like kind of mediocre i have had better korean barbecue but yeah so let's see if we have any leftover i don't think we do i think we spent it all i only have leftover in gas but that always gets rolled over coffee this week is going to be getting five dollars and I did have a question recently. It's like, how do you drink coffee every single day at Starbucks but only stuff $5? It reminds me to only drink one cup of coffee at Starbucks every week. I was able to drink coffee every day because my boyfriend actually loaded a card for me to use. So for the time being, I still have money in it to drink every day. And I think it's just an easier... It's just an easier alternative and it's super quick. And then we have date nights. We are gonna be putting $10 in it. And the next three, we are gonna be putting $10 each. Dining out gets 10. And then lastly, gas and EV also only gets 10 this week because I still have money in it. But I did get gas, I think yesterday, and I used my credit card, so I will be paying myself back. So gas is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 65. And uh, for the first time, I actually just went to fill up my tank only halfway because I was halfway full still, but I wanted to make sure that in case of anything, I already have a full tank of gas inside. Groceries, I'm gonna get my ugly bills. I had it somewhere. I know the machine's gonna accept it or the cashier is gonna accept it. So there we have $40 for groceries. And then the last one is spending. And spending is gonna get $5. And that is it for this week's allowance that totaled to $80. Now we're going to move into our pink binder, which is our monthly expenses and debt binder. My least favorite binder. Car insurance. I'm going to be putting 20, 30, and 
35. So now it has 50, 70, 90, 100, and five dollars. And yeah, just to continue what I did last night. So after we went to go eat Korean barbecue, we went next door and we got boba. So that was really, really good. I also got pandan waffle. That boba place actually had like really cute decor in it. Us four took like a photos together. So that was really cute. And then we drove to Total Wine. So if you guys don't know what Total Wine is, it's almost like a BevMo or like an alcohol grocery store. Basically it has so many different wine, so many different liquor, so many different everything. It has really, really cute designs also. So I think Total Wine is a great place if you want to go and get your bottles because sometimes the prices of it, it's so cheap that it even matches Costco prices. And y'all know Costco is like super good at prices. Uh, Carno is going to be getting 50, 70, and 90. And now it has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, and 270. And yeah, so we went in there, we were shopping around, got a, I think it's like a one liter bottle of Grey Goose. Jim is gonna get $8. And I usually drink tequila. I don't drink vodka that often. I think I stopped drinking vodka when I was like, I don't know, like 20. I just stopped liking the taste of vodka and then I switched over to Hennessy. And in the last like three or four years, I switched to tequila. So vodka has been like long gone in my thought process, you know? Um, Jim is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. The reason why I even wanted to get vodka is because I read online that vodka is a drink that gives you the least chances of a hangover. Ortho is going to be getting $55 and so obviously I had to give it a shot. I have to give it a try. Ortho now has 100, 150, 155, 60, and 65. I drank about six shots last night and let me tell y'all, it's been three hours since I woke up. I feel a little bit better, but when I was sleeping, my stomach was in so much pain. That's usually how it goes when I get hangovers. Like it starts with the stomach pain in the middle of the night. Phone is gonna be getting 60. So we got 50 and a 10. And now phone has 50, 70, 90, 110, and 120. And so I was like, oh no, the hangover is happening. After like a few hours, I do feel a little bit better. I just feel a little bit tired. Subscription is it's gonna get ten dollars so now my subscription envelope has 30. So yeah if you guys that are dealing with chronic hangovers i suggest giving vodka a whirl you can't get the cheap vodka you have to get like a little bit higher end because i think it defeats the purpose when you get cheap vodka because usually with cheap vodka they mix like other stuff in it if you're drinking bottom of the barrel then the likeliness of you getting a hangover i think just increases so much now we're moving on to our fixed expenses so car registration is going to be getting ten dollars now it has 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and 45 the next one is my car renewal and she is getting 10 15 16 17 and 18 so now it has 100, 200, 250, 260, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, and 83. And I honestly wanted to get rid of this envelope because I thought I was going to be able to get my own insurance. The money for this, for any of you guys that are wondering, basically me paying an annual fee to a broker who then goes and search for the cheapest insurance for me. And last year they charged me 300 but as you are a member with them for longer, they do reduce the price. So I'm guessing this year is probably gonna reduce at least like five, ten dollars So maybe it'll come out to like $2.90. But they get you insurance for the entire year. The reason why this even got put in place was because I had an SR22, which is extension to my license, which meant I was a high risk driver. We can get into it in another video of why or how I even got that, but I used to have Allstate when I was a good driver and that was only like $77 a month. Now I pay $137, but with the car renewal fee, if you divide it out, I actually pay $160. Two. So I went to Allstate with all my history, y'all. 
my insurance would be 214 a month. So I'm like, I like the broker in the fact that I get the cheap, you know, insurance, but with cheap, like the quality of the insurance, like I don't want to find out how terrible the insurance is once I get into a car accident or if I ever get into a car accident. I have to read between the fine lines and they don't cover this or they don't cover that. That's the whole reason why I want to get my own insurance. And I know Allstate, like when I got into my accident, I was in great hands. Yeah, that's basically what I'm dealing with right now with car insurance. If you guys are living in California and have any good insurance, like please let me know. I want to like do my own direct quotes with them. Moving on, we are going to go into our debt snowball. We are going to be putting $350. I did print out some saving challenges for this, but I will go over it next week with y'all. This is a work in progress, but if you guys see like, you know, extra pieces of white paper, that's the saving challenges that I came up with. And then we have our repay for our expense bill. We are going to be putting 20 30 and 35 so now it has 100 200 250 270 290 310 320 330 335 and that is it for this binder now we are going to move on to our emergency funds and our savings so the first one is bentley and this is for my dog he is going to be getting 20, 30, and 35. He has 100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 55, and 260. And then I'm going to move down to my life insurance. This one is going to be getting 20, 30, 35, and 36. So now life insurance has 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 450, 460, 461. Next is our house. I'm only going to stuff a little bit because I'm focusing mostly on debt this month. 20, 30, and 35. And I was also thinking about doing a debt confession video with you guys so that I can show you guys what I've been actually like rethinking my budget, rethinking my debt and my savings. And I kind of just want to go over it with you guys so that you guys can kind of like gauge where I'm coming from and hopefully, you know, get some tips or some motivation or a new perspective, if you will. And I think I am gonna do that in March. So stay tuned for that. But House now has 1,100, 1, 50, 200, 220, 230, 240, and 250. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and 75. Once I hit $100, I do deposit it into my investing account. And then we did add something new, which is new beginnings, $105. And this is the first 105 or the first bills at all into the New Beginnings envelope. So I'm really glad to start stuffing that. And then I did start this new envelope. So this is for my next travel adventure. I'm going to be stuffing 20, 40, and a 90. So now this trip has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, and 330. This is for my Cancun trip that I'm taking in August. A travel girl on the corner, which I love. I wanted to add like a cute little photo. So Cancun saving challenge and I am trying to hit 2000 by August. I kind of split it up however many weeks I could. And then we're gonna finish up here with our black binder. This is our sinking funds binder. I'm gonna put I had an extra dollar so I'm gonna put that in my buffer and then I'm gonna go down to my gifts envelope I am gonna be putting there's two things in here I'm gonna put 50 60 dollars this has 100 200 300 350 360 and 370 And then I'm going to go down to this envelope. I'm going to put $25 and this is a me envelope. I wanted to 
save up for some hair extensions. And then lastly, I'm gonna put the last $40 in Mi Vida envelope. I finally gave my boyfriend his Valentine's gift and I wanted to let you guys know what it was. I will show you guys a picture. It's the Monos luggage and I got him the large luggage in midnight black, I think. Super beautiful. I got him that because his luggage, we got it like three years ago and we got it at Marshall's. I think it was like $100 or so. Like the wheels kind of like got stuck or something. So like when you push it, it like doesn't really go. You're trying to push a luggage in the airport and it just gets stuck and especially like when we go to the airport he not only carries his luggage he pushes mine too so it's just like a whole mess right when we went to Vegas and I had gotten the Bay's luggage I don't know if you guys have heard of it but it's the girl from Pretty Little Liars she made like a whole luggage brand but I think three of my friends got me Bay's luggage so my best friend got me a large and my other two close friends one of them got me a smaller version and then one got me a duffel bag in the same brand and then when I brought it to Vegas, my boyfriend like really, really liked the base luggage. Like he thought it was very practical, very functional. I was like, ooh, that's a great idea. I want to get him a luggage for a gift. I didn't want to get the base brand just because I like being different. So I really like this brand, which is why I got it for him. It's super sleek, super beautiful, classy. I love everything about it. Very modern too. It does look similar to the base luggage. It's a little bit more expensive expensive than the base luggage and now I'm basically just saving up to pay myself back because I did put it on one of my credit cards. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, and 210. And that is it you guys. One last thing, I just really wanted to quickly thank every single person that you know watched my last story time, enjoyed it, and I really really did like seeing all of your comments. I really did like seeing the different perspectives that you guys had. I'm sorry if I got any of you guys riled up but yeah i think that that conversation was a good one to have just so that you guys can kind of like see a different side of me which you guys don't really see but i think that that situation was a good representation of how i usually am or my thought process anyways i just wanted to close that off and i'm glad that you guys liked my story time and i will see you guys in week four ta-ta for now